Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. It's now August the 30th, about 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time here in Manitoba, Canada. And we're left with two days left, just today and tomorrow, till we finish off this amazing August month that was incredibly volatile. We spent the second half of July consolidating, as you guys remember, consolidating between that range. And then all of a sudden, near the end of July, we had this sudden explosion where massive gains were made up to 33% on Bitcoin. That's quite a big run up there in the first week of August. And then, of course, we get this consolidation. And near the second week of August, we get a drastic drop from the 11.5K ranges all the way down to the 9.5K ranges. And small consolidation with a huge bearish flag, though. And, of course, another obvious drop comes down. And now the question that's left hanging over everybody's heads is, what's going to happen next? Will we hold above specific regions to be bullish? Or will we get another drastic drop coming to the downside? So let's go over a lot of different theories while we're doing this technical analysis to make sure everybody's on the same page. First of all, let's look at the big picture. I know in my previous technical analysis video, I was mentioning uh, 26K. I still do see a possible roadmap to 26K, provided that we stay bullish to some reasons or to some extent, right? And we support above key levels. Now, I know that um, we didn't break exactly above where I was expecting us to break above, but you know what? Sometimes things like this actually do happen, guys. And, and uh, we just got to plan for it all the time, right? This was a clear support that was outlined for a while now. And there was a huge possible chance to break to the upside, in my opinion, but we didn't break to the upside. So of course, Naturally, there was no uh, no point of going long on on this particular uh, breakout, right? Nothing broke to the upside. You guys were waiting for this apex to reach some drastic sort of conclusion, but uh, just nothing made um, came to it. So, and the break into the downside instead. A lot of people capitalized on a pretty good short, I'm sure, and also a decent scalp to the long side. Um, I still believe that 8800 is a very critical point, and we're going to go over all of this here, starting from the monthly. So the monthly, it's got two days left to close, as mentioned. Three months in a row now where we're getting, uh, where the highs are getting significantly lower, where the wicks are actually reaching. Um, the first month here in June, we were getting to the 13.8 Ks about, and the next month, 13.3. This month, we're dropping to about 12.3. And that's completely understandable, of course, right? We're losing steam and momentum. You take a look at the general volume on any exchange, right? Let's just go to, a, for example, um, whoops, excuse me here. Let's go to uh, Binance here, okay? Where is this here? Let's go to uh, Tether and Binance here. This is fine as well. Like It's the exact same thing on pretty much every single exchange. So I moved it over to Binance. Uh, price is very, very similar in my opinion here. Okay, so the monthly is um, is definitely looking like it's it's in consolidation mode, but we still have a chance near the end of this year to have a pretty epic bull run, in my opinion. Historically, we've proven that the market tends to react in some way near December 17, which has been proven for two years in a row now. And uh, right now, what, what I do want to say is this, all right, um, that this is the first time since the bull run that began on around August, uh, sorry, April the 1st, we've always maintained steadily above a specific EMA. So if you take a look at the eight exponential moving average here, okay, eight exponential moving average and around June 10 bounced off of it, right? We, we poked below it to try to stay above the eight exponential moving average, uh, successfully defended. But of course, we poked down well below, right? Successfully defended again, got up to the upside, and then we defended a little bit, pushed through it, and then bam, the first successful close below it on August 19th there, right? August 19 to August 26. So August 26 was the most, the first successful close below the eight EMA. And now we're actually talking about the 13 EMA on the weekly, okay? So the 13 EMA now, notice the body of the candle is actually in between it, okay? So this means that the next week, right? The next week, um, this, this starts September the 2nd, the next week. It's got a chance to close below it. So even though we are losing steam, um, I still see, once again, a possible bull run uh, near the end of the year, okay? So let's just talk about some EMAs. Let's go to the two-day moving average, okay? The two-day moving average right now, what we're finding is that Bitcoin is finding a possible support, 
on the 55 EMA. Is this a possible support though? Okay. Or is this right here a descending triangle in the makings right now? So every time we're, we're getting, you know, this particular range here, say about 9,000, these could be considered just bull trapped or sort of bear trapped regions, right? Right around this particular region down over here. So whenever we reach to these regions, or whenever we reach to these zones here, that's a really hard tongue twister, okay? Whenever we reach to these regions there for the third time, the bulls tend to come in and bite up. It's happened how many times here now, okay? It's happened right there. It's happened right here. It's, happened, it's happening right here, possibly. Not only that, this specific point is coinciding at the 55 moving average. So on the daily right now, we are getting that fanning strategy of mine that's going to the negative side. But you just never know when the bulls could just come swooping in, right? So I'm talking about 8800 for this specific reason. Okay, guys, this is probably one of the most significant things that you will hear me say in this specific technical analysis video. The reason why I'm saying around 8800 is bullish, like around 8800 is really strong support zone, is because if I extrapolate this over here, if I extrapolate this white line, which is the 200 moving average, okay, it just seems like it's going to stretch out to the point where, where not only is this a very relevant point, okay, I'm talking about 8800 on the very, very last line of defense here. 8800 to you know this specific zone here. I think that we are in a zone where people could be accumulating right now. Anywhere between 8800 to 9300 about. Because if I extrapolate this right here, that's exactly where the 200 moving average ends up confluently finding support in these particular zones. So I wanted to keep this extremely short and let you guys know that something very interesting is going to happen soon, okay? And um, like in my opinion, we could have um, a small pump before the end of the month, okay? That's one thing that can happen, okay? So another thing we can happen is nothing will happen really. It's just gonna go sideways for a while between 95 and 96 range. Another thing is we'll just drop, right? We'll just drop to the end of the month. And then perhaps September could be the beginning of a very bullish month. Uh, there's so many things that can happen. But this, keep an eye on it, okay? Keep an eye on it right there. This is where the fanning strategy comes into play, where we can actually just break to the downside. If you look on the daily right now, we've got six hours to go. And, um, and, and two days in a row now, we've successfully defended between... Um, 9,300 and above 9,500 range. So anytime it drops below 9,500 for two consecutive days now, okay? Two days. We have um, bulls have come swooping in there. So sometimes when um, near the end of the month, when the bulls just want to want to get a pretty decent candle to finish it off, right? Uh, just to build up some of that momentum to swing over to the next month. Uh, that can really impact as well how, um, how, how we perceive these candles. So that's all I wanted to wrap up. Hey guys, you know I'm I'm um I read a lot of the comments, okay, from the previous video. I want you guys to know that you got to take things with a grain of salt. I'm not here to tell you guys what's going to happen in the market or 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 which way I know it's going to go, right? I'm here to give you guys just kind of a set of instructions for you to to help you navigate, okay? That's kind of how it is. And um, you know, it's kind of like um one of um one of the, these people I listen to a lot, um. Uh, his name is Frank Kern, okay? He says this, if you have all the material in front of you and you have purchased a ton of these courses and you're, be given, you're given all of this information, but you do nothing with it whatsoever, well, it's not a problem with the material that you have or the courses, man, it's a problem with you, right? So you got to think of it like that from that perspective where the, I think that anything that you do in life um, the discipline that you have is going to um, it's going to help you persevere through it. And you can't just listen to, for example, me and what, when I tell you this is or that is going to happen. Just because I have a technical analysis video out there 
that says I have a roadmap to 26K, right? I'm talking about that's long term, guys. It's a really long term outlook. It's, it's um, I'm not. There's always an understood disclaimer that um, that of course you know this is just for mainly educational purposes as well. Right, just like to share what I know and, and the greatest strength that we, the greatest power we have in this world, let's face it, is to share what we know and just to pass on knowledge in, as in general. So I, I hope that you guys are taking a lot of this with a grain of salt, but of course as well, right, um, the, it's for educational purposes and always make sure you're that, you're that guy who's reading a lot of different publications and reading, uh, just learning a lot from multiple sources. This way you can, you can grow, you, you can see from multiple angles as well. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to leave you with a little bit of food for thought. And, um, and you know, just, just be very, very disciplined, guys. Excuse me. They always be incredibly disciplined. You know, like lately, since I've come back from Vancouver, I have been um, a health nut. Believe it or not, I've been um, an absolute health nut. I've actually gone to the gym twice already, which is very surprising because I haven't gone in a long time. Um, you know, I'm always I'm eating um, fruits and vegetables for breakfast. I'm going out for like three walks a day. I'm actually running a lot as well, and I'm, I'm eating really, really healthy and cooking my own foods. I don't know what happened, but um, it's just something snapped inside of me again. Where I'm sorry, I did that just to wipe something there. Um, something snapped where I just want to gain my discipline back because I want to lead by example. That's right. I want to show you guys, um, you know what it takes to be a professional trader, and um, and uh, I'm looking for that. I'm basically looking for that that 20%. If you guys ever have heard of the the 20 or the 80 20 rule, right? I'm looking for those top 200 people that I could really invest in on Twitter, and um and, and just trading in general. And I'm very excited to actually meet a lot of people who are starting to develop their skills. And um, I've got a lot of ideas on the plate. Vancouver was a very good recharging time, but um at the same time, you know I'm. I've got a lot of plans for you guys as well. Anyways, I'm talking way too much. Have a great day, guys, and take care. Bye now.